Hi boys and girls, Nana Sharon here with Bella and Posey and Papa is behind the camera. Today I want to read you a story, so let's sit down, fold our hands, and get ready to listen. This little golden book is called Kermit Save the Swamp, starring Jim Henson's Muppets by Richard Shavat, illustrated by Tom Lee. It was a bright summer morning, and Kermit was getting ready for a trip. Hey, Kermit, where are you headed? asked Fozzie Bear, who was passing by. I'm going to visit some old friends back in the swamp, Kermit explained. I haven't been there for a long time, and I really miss the place. You do? Fozzie was surprised. Gee, Kermit, what's so great about a swamp? Why don't you come along and see, said Kermit. Me? Come along with you? Great, cried Fozzie, and he ran home to pack a bag. Soon they were driving through the countryside, heading for Kermit's swamp. What's it like in the swamp, asked Fozzie. I've always been too bogged down to visit one. Get it? Bog, bogged down. It's wonderful, said Kermit. The trees are tall and shady, the moss is cool and green, and there are beautiful water lilies everywhere. Wow, said Fozzie, and I thought a swamp was just full of icky old mud. Mud? That's the best part, Kermit said with a happy sigh. And we're almost there. Hey, what's that thing, said Fozzie as they turned onto a dirt road in front of them stood a large billboard. Swamp World, Kermit read out loud. I wonder what that's all about. Kermit and Fozzie headed on down the road toward the swamp. Look, it's a beaver pond, said Kermit. And there's old Fergus. He pointed to a beaver sitting on a log by the side of the pond. Hi, Kermit, said Fergus. Back for a visit? That's right, Kermit replied. I'm showing my friend Fozzie the swamp. Fergus nodded. You're just in time, he said. Pretty soon there won't be any swamp to show. What? Kermit cried. What do you mean? Well, said Fergus, a few weeks ago this fellow came around and said he wanted to build a big shopping mall and an amusement park here. Swamp World, said Fozzie. That's right, Fergus replied. So we got together and decided it might be a good idea. We're signing the deal next week. Do you think it's a good idea? asked Kermit. Why not? Fergus answered. We'll all get free rides in an amusement park. I hear they're building a great water slide. But what about your dam? Kermit asked. Won't need a dam, Fergus answered. They're draining all the water. Just then, a musical voice called out, Kermit, welcome home. It's Lulu the Mockingbird, said Kermit. Lulu, what's all this about draining the swamp? Yes, isn't it exciting, Lulu answered. But I don't understand, said Kermit. Why do you want to give up this beautiful place? Oh, Kermit, Lulu said, don't be so old-fashioned. Just think of it, no more hunting for worms and berries. I'll be able to just fly over to the shopping mall and pick up a box of birdseed. A box of birdseed, Kermit said. But I used to love hearing you sing when you gathered food each day. Oh, I won't have to sing any more either, said Lulu as she flew away. There will be music at the mall. Music at the mall, Kermit moaned. Fozzie, this is terrible. We've got to find my cousin Nemo. I bet he doesn't want the swamp to be drained. Nemo was sitting under a tree holding a brand new pair of roller skates. Hi, Kermit, Nemo called out when he saw them coming. Boy, am I glad to see you. I've got a problem. I knew that's how you would feel, Kermit cried. I need someone to teach me how to roller skate, Nemo explained. I want to be ready when they put in the new sidewalks. Sidewalks? shouted Kermit. Who needs sidewalks in a swamp? Golly, Kermit, said Nemo. 
You can't roller skate on mud. Kermit shook his head sadly. I guess nobody cares about this place but me, he said, sighing. It's too bad, but at least you got here in time to say goodbye to it, said Fozzie, trying to cheer Kermit up. Suddenly, Kermit's face brightened. Fozzie, that gives me an idea, he cried. That night, Kermit invited his friends to a big party under the tree by Fergus's pond. Almost everyone in the swamp was there. Fergus, Lulu, Nemo, Alice the alligator, Tennyson the turtle, oh, Garnet the raccoon, and her children. Gee, thanks for throwing this great party, Kermit, said Nemo as he munched on popcorn. Glad you like it, Kermit said, because this isn't any old party. This is a goodbye party. Who's leaving, Lulu asked. Why, lots of things, said Kermit, like this old tree. All the trees will have to be cut down to make room for them all. But where will we build our nests, asked Lulu, her voice suddenly growing hoarse. And this pond, Kermit added, will we better say goodbye to that, too. Now that I think about it, I would miss this place, Fergus said, his eyes misting over. Where would I go, Alice the alligator asked. I swim here. Not only do I swim here, Tennyson the turtle chimed. I love to chew on the swamp grass. Well, better say goodbye to the grass, said Kermit. It'll be paved over, and the water lilies, too, and the mud. I just remembered how much I like to play in the mud, Nemo cried. Gee, we get a lot more from this swamp than I realized, said Lolo, Lulu. Not just us, Nemo said. The flowers, the bugs, everyone needs it. Even I'm starting to like it, Frozzy said sadly. I really like amusement parks, Fozzy replied. Well, Fozzy, Kermit answered, look at it this way. There are lots of amusement parks, but a good swamp is hard to find.